I think people who are gonna experience the Lonely Whale virtual reality thing are gonna have their minds blown. I've never experienced anything quite like this. See what it's like to swim with whales. When someone puts on a headset to experience the Lonely Whale, what they're gonna see a really immersive underwater environment. This really transports you to another world. When you're underwater and when you're sitting there looking at the whale, and the fish and the beauty of it, you forget where you are completely. The process of building the Lonely Whale Project uh, started when Adrian Grenier came to us and we got really interested in the possibility of helping to raise awareness about ocean pollution and noise pollution and how that affects the underwater life. The Lonely Whale is a real whale that swims all alone out in the Pacific Ocean. He speaks another language, a different frequency than other whales, so he's been calling out his whole life and he's never received a response. We are trying to understand him and communicate with him so that we can better understand the plight of whales and marine wildlife. I'm really excited that Dell has given us an opportunity to build the Lonely Whale VR experience. It's a good example showing how technology companies can really help solve the world's problems, not be part of the world's problems. Through the Lonely Whale Foundation, we are funding projects to better understand the ocean and study ocean noise pollution in particular and how it affects uh, marine wildlife. I know firsthand, I was a Navy nuclear submarine officer, you can hear a boat pulling out a continent away if it's poorly maintained. If that is what we hear inside a ship, imagine what a whale must have to deal with. Virtual reality is really on the cutting edge of what's happening in real-time technology. That means that we have to be working with like the highest, most powerful machines we can get. We're working with Dell and AMD. We're using the Dell T7910 Precision Workstation. It's combined with the AMD Fire Pro graphics card line. It's just the perfect, ideal platform for the development of VR. We can crank out models faster, we can, uh, we can spot check things faster, and we can just work in a, in a much more seamless way. The Dell Precisions are certified to be used with Autodesk Maya, which we use for all of our 3D work, our modeling, our texturing. We make sure that applications that are coming out and the software and these components are all integrated, testing, and will work perfectly and flawlessly for our customers. What you see must maintain lock and, and keep up with your eyes. If you don't, your brain immediately tells you that you have a latency, a lag. And our initiatives are all focused initially today on minimizing that latency, essentially putting it to a point where the user can no longer see it. Developers can confidently use AMD and Dell configurations with the certainty that they will have the right solutions and a great experience for their consumers. Alienware and AMD also provide an amazing platform for our consumer experience, for our users, for everyone who gets to check out our Lonely Will project. The Alienware Area 51s outfitted with the AMD R9s are allowing us to push poly counts into the millions, have 8K textures, have level of details that most video games or virtual reality experiences or anything real time can't even touch. Alienware is working directly with the headset vendors, including the HTC Vive, to make sure it gets the best experience. And we also have a partnership with Subpack that is going to give you the low frequency audio experience. When you swim with real whales, when they sing, sometimes the frequency is so low that you don't hear it, you feel it in your body. For developers, there's nothing better than getting to be on the cutting edge. And Alienware, Dell Precision, and AMD are killing it. They've been amazing. And they work directly, directly, directly with us, with the vendors, with everybody who needs to be involved to make sure it's perfect. Unreal Engine runs incredibly quickly in a way that I've never used it before and it's letting our creativity just come out. And with The Lonely Whale, you're going to understand that there's an environmental problem that needs to be fixed and hopefully it'll be a call to action for a lot of people.